and the results come earlier and it beats your expectation and price rally, you sell off. But if the result come late and the result is poor, and what happened? Your risk, you might lose your money, your risk is high. That's why you need to understand how you can marry the early and the late release. Two to three weeks of the expected date of the release, of the earnings release, uh, release uh, two to three weeks of the expected date of the earnings release. Check the stock's chart to see if the stock is trending higher. To see if the stock is trading higher or bouncing from a recent dip in price. Here you cannot set price limit and use prudent position size to also, to also guide your vol volume of shares to buy. At this point, as we are saying, if we have known the actual release date that is coming and the price is coming down or going up, you should know what to do. If the price has gone down and there is a sign technically that the price will, re re will bounce back, and we're expecting the earnings in, in soon dates, not from the, not far from the date we are charting. That means I said two to three weeks. That means you need to buy that stock because it has become cheaper and it's sign that the stock will bounce back because you have seen the forecast of the company. You have analyzed it, the first quarter, the third quarter, anywhere we're expecting that. It's important that this company will do better. You now enter. When the result comes immediately, as the market reacts to the result, you now you are coming out of the position you have taken. That is why it's good to always use this expected date to always guide your decision. Then, when the price is deep, is, is deep in at that particular time, now look at what is the price limit I should use to buy, accumulate more. Then, if you are buying, if you are bought earlier and the price is still dropping, you want to, you want to average down and buy more at the deep since it's going to reverse. That is where I said you need to have a price limit and use prudent or position size to guide the volume you are buying so that you also align that when the price returns back, the price you bought earlier than down, you have you know, come to a break, break evil and at that time you are in profit already because that will go a long way too to, to guide you as an investor. Position early and then wait as price rise due to what expected positive earnings. Because you are in the stock already, you have analyzed ahead of others in the market, like what you are going to do in technical analysis, to get the market clue before others. If you have gotten it earlier and you are in, in the stock, when others are coming in, in the market today is all of demand and supply. When the demand for the stock is high, I'm saying that the price will rally. That will help you to know when to exit. It is better for you now to be in the stock early. As the price rally, you exit. Always check your price action. It's very important. If the price going up or down, it's very important for you. Sell for a profit when price rally as a result of market reaction to positive earnings release that hit the market. You hit the market. Like today, now somebody called me this morning. Now that Wapco is dropping, should I say? I asked him two questions. I said, what was the expectation when we are buying Wapco? He said he was expecting that bonus would, you know, would come with the dividend. I said, come, if they're giving you bonus of one for five and two naira dividend, I know that market have reacted no more than what we are seeing in Wapco. But I told you, if you are not a trader, you hold on to Wapco. But unless you are a trader, for your capital, I tell you how to protect capital is very important. If you want to protect your capital, check what you have lost. If the dividend you are expecting will compensate for it, you hold on for them to mark on before you now sell and move to another point. But if you have made profit already, you can go out. I say, even though you have made 10% of on Wapco, go out. Even though you are waiting for the last two months, you can still move to another stock that before another two months, you know, another 20% again or 10%. And I said, okay, why? When the result comes is positive, people must react to But when it's negative, market will treat you like what the way they treated the, the GTP. When GTP came to the market, the numbers are good, but because the market was a bit dicey, brokers didn't make that stock to move that day. It dropped to as low as 23 naira. But as yesterday, it's almost 26 naira. That day that if you have. Seeing the result, you have known that you as a, as a trader, oh, why? The result is good, but it's not market, it's not treating the stock like this. You can position and make some gain from it. Make sure that, make sure the company earnings you want to trade has a positive projection. For example, if analyst A, only that in Nigeria, I've not, I think I'm going to plan discussion with few analysts. It's only in Nigeria that we don't have analysts giving the general market direction. In abroad, 
a small co analyst estimate that, oh, most analysts have produced the estimate that this company can do. Then, if, as an investor, you now on your own have analyzed, say this general estimate that, oh, all the analysts have said you to do. That sentiment will be in the market. When the company releases results and it's fall below the analyst projection, what do you see the next morning? The stock will double. But when it beats analyst you know, estimate or projection, you see the stock moving up. That's why you need to always know what is the expectation. That's why I tell you that call. If you call me in terms of earnings, I say it's good, but also if you know someone that you can call against, ask what are you expecting. It will not give you a clue what the market is expecting. But here in Nigeria, it's only a few good sites who can get some result, but we are not good in giving forecasts in Nigeria. And also the company is itself that before now they've been sending forecasts to the market. But of late, I've still seen company giving forecasts of what they want to do in the next quarter. That will go a long way to guide investors. But you as an investor, you have also know how